Tercio, Karen Fomer doing the Bolero. Welcome. Thanks for being Thank here you. for Thank Dance you. Party Friday. Thank I don't, you very much. I don't know how this happened. Dance Party Friday. And, and Sonia, unfortunately, <laughs> is under the weather. Dez is on I a know. cruise. So, you know, we kind of get that. Uh, and you get stuck with this guy. So well, you're good too. Yeah, we'll from see. what Sonia told me. Well, yeah, we'll see. We'll you, see. How. You're a pretty good dancer at the <laughs> Christmas party. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, this is this is uh, obviously Dance Party Friday, where you're going to teach me bolero in a minute. But let's first talk about the Quinnipiac Ballroom Society. Eric Tercio is the president of that. You guys have a big event coming up. Yeah. Tell me first about the society. What is it that, other than dancing, or how, how do you incorporate it into to what you do? Well, I started this society three years ago. I'm the president of it, and okay. uh, we're actually just starting up and running, and our big event is uh, Sunday. It's going to be November 29th. It yep. starts at 745. It's a fundraiser for the entire ballroom program at Quinnipiac, so the students can continue the art of ballroom dancing and competing, because it's a lot of money. So Yeah, that, I would imagine. Yeah, and that evening, it's open up to the public, yep. uh, to ballroom dancers, to people in general to come out and see what we're doing. Uh, there's a general admissions fee, but yep. there's also a silent auction to help raise money for it. So we're hoping for a big turnout on November 29th at 7.45. Dancing with the Stars, I imagine, has really raised the interest, even among college students, huh? Incredibly, incredibly, because yeah. when I was in high school and I was doing this, <laughs> uh, you know, all my friends were out playing football, and I'm out Friday nights with my dance instructor, dancing. you know, yeah. my ballroom dancing, but now it, it's, it's the big thing. How, how long have you and Karen been working together, instructor, student? Since I was 11 years old, wow. and next week I'll be 23, so... 12 years. Wow. He grew yeah. up. Thanks for the math. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's very... And that's my something, dance mom. And that's <laughs> something you don't see quite so often, do you? That Young kids young coming kids in. Young kids really doing ballroom. Well, he actually had asked his, his parents, as he said, I want to take ballroom. Wow. And they brought him in, and he started with group classes. <laughs> yep. And then he started doing private lessons and then competing pro-am at competitions with me. And mm -hmm. I, we have, you know, video and pictures of him from this <laughs> size growing, growing. Yeah, so. I have my partner, Calvia, and we're performing at different shows. Yeah. And no, yes, yeah. And so partner. And we'll actually be dancing that night on the 29th as well. And I'm sure that uh, it's got to be something where you're inviting people to come in and dance as well, right? I mean, yeah. that's what oh, it's yeah. all about. But, you know, it's not just for the students at yep. Quinnipiac. I mean, I just invite everyone because I want everyone to learn how to appreciate the art. It's so nice yeah. to be able to take someone and dance out on a floor. I mean, what do you do at a wedding? You can't tap dance. Right, exactly. Yeah. Well, that was the last time I, I think I actually really danced. I took right. swing lessons before my wedding. That was nine years ago. So I'm, I'm going to put my scripts well, down. We'll see what I can do with, with Bolero <laughs> okay. here. You might Show me some of that with your shoes. Yeah, right? <laughs> Show me some of the basics. Okay. Okay. So, Karen and I, we're going to demonstrate okay. what the we would like the ba for you to do. Just the basics. Now, no okay. matter what, you'll, the guy, you'll always start with your left foot. Okay. And always, always start, start with your left, left foot. foot. Okay. Okay. So, you're going to step side. Yeah. Back, rock, side, forward, rock. And just repeat that. Okay. You want to try it? <laughs> Do you want me to try it? I think it's the question, right? Yeah, it's your toes that so, I'm worried about. All so right. you're going to step right. to the side. All right. Back rock. Yeah. With, this, with this foot. <laughs> with this foot. Back, back rock. rock. Step to the side. And that goes now do a forward back. rock with this foot. Forward, forward rock. rock. Step to the side. Back rock. All right. You got it. That's not bad, right? Yeah, side. The and then is there, a, is there a back to the middle rock. or do you just go? Side. All right. No middle. No middle. Just all right. Just keep doing it. Forward, rock, Back. side. Side. You got it. <laughs> this is, That's this it. Is, now, wow. you have to do okay. an underarm turn for me. Okay. All right. And all you have to do is this. See, this is, okay. this is the, the guys who did an easy Chris. job on the turn, yeah, right? You just stand but you there. have right. to keep your feet going. So okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right. when. So you okay. Go so you're going to go side, side back, rock. Back. Yep. Do it again. Side, side forward, front. rock. Okay. Now go side, yep. back, rock. And then side, Perfect. forward, rock. All right, that's and good. And turn. That's good, all right. We're going to do it again? Okay. Okay, okay. ready? Start, the start from the beginning. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you got side, back, rock, side, yep. forward, rock, side, back, rock. Yep. Side, uh, and then right. forward. Okay. And you're boleroing. Look at that. That's, that's all there is to it. Bolero. You know, I, I, I wish there were a camera on Kristen who's over there laughing <laughs> at me. Why don't you come on here and try this, Kristen? <laughs> oh, she's clapping now. Okay, that's good. That's good. And this is, this is, 
you know, it really is fun. And it, I think it, one of the things is what we just showed is the intimidation of yeah. just getting started right. has got to be one of the hardest parts right. about this, right? Exactly. I mean, you know, our viewers who are watching at home, yeah. who are either, you know, in their office watching the show or yeah. sitting <laughs> down on the couch yeah. or whatever, like my grandmother's doing, <laughs> uh, you know, you can just get up and just start side. It's very smooth. It's a great workout. It's not that intimidating. Right? Good yeah. exercise. Good exercise. A lot it's of exercise. It's good physical and mental. Yeah. Because, um, you know, first of all, it's very relaxing. It, in the beginning, it's, well, it's not, but... Once you but, get over the, yeah, yeah, the uneasiness. You, you get into the music, right. and yeah. every dance has a basic. Yep. And you just learn that basic. Mm -hmm. and you get the pattern that, down. And then in the rhythm, and then everything grows from that. But you always start with just the basic. And, and his continuity was, was very good when he started. Yeah. A little okay. unsure, but then yeah, you started you going, and you, and, and you had... And if you have a good teacher who, who gives you confidence, that's a good thing, too. Guys, thanks yeah. so much. Thank you very Eric much, Eric and Karen, Chris. nice thanks to see you. Thank you very much. You can you can dance us out. We'll remind you that the... Dancing with the QU Stars, the big fundraiser, is happening on the 29th. The information's there on the screen. Also on the web, WTNH.com. All right, there's more to come. They're going to dance. I'm going to stop before I hurt someone. We'll be back with more Connecticut Style for this. Stay with us.